एस चांद प्रेजेंस एजुकेशनल वीडियो लेक्चर्स एज पर दी ए आई सी टी ई कारिकुलम डिफिकल्ट कॉन्सेप्ट मेड इजी स्टडी एनी वेयर एनी टाइम If I tell you that we can cut a metal with the help of a wire, do you believe me? You will believe me by the end of this lecture. Welcome to West Chand Academy, and I am Anmol Bhatia. In today's lecture, we'll be learning about the non-conventional machining processes. If you want to have the detailed conceptual clarity, you can refer to the book by S. Chand Publishing. The link of the book is there in the description box below. so let us start with the video in which we will learn about the topic advanced manufacturing processes and it is the part of the topic which is there in the course manufacturing practices so firstly we will look at uh, the case of manufacturing processes so we have majorly two types or two categories of manufacturing processes namely conventional manufacturing process and a non conventional manufacturing processes so conventional manufacturing process is that category in which the metal removal is done in the form of chips and it is done with the help of the forces that we apply in case of a non traditional manufacturing process or a non conventional manufacturing process what we do we remove the excess material by incorporating certain techniques which are mechanical techniques which can be thermal which can be electrical chemical or the combination of all these energies so here we incorporate energies namely mechanical energy or thermal energy or electrical energy so that the metal is removed so the thing comes uh, into the mind is why do we require these non traditional manufacturing processes or the non conventional manufacturing processes so here we have certain materials which are difficult to machine so in order to machine those materials we can go for this and advanced manufacturing technologies or unconventional manufacturing methods then we have the situation in which we have the jobs of intricated or the complex shapes and there are certain components which are fragile components or thin components so in that situation this advanced manufacturing process is also required there are some materials which are high strength materials basically they are used for aerospace or nuclear industries and uh, these kind of development in the materials have forced the researchers to look for the new technologies that would provide the effective solution to these problems and the problem is to basically uh, machine the newly developed materials so let us look at the characteristics of the advanced manufacturing processes now so the first characteristic is that there is no mechanical contact between the workpiece and the tool so both of them do not comes in contact with each other in in many or majority of the non conventional processes the material removal rate is independent of the hardness so we can machine the material of any hardness cutting forces are also independent of the hardness and the tool material may not be harder as which is as it is in the case of the conventional manufacturing processes any sort of workpiece material of any hardness or of any strength can be machined with the help of this advanced manufacturing processes here the wear of the tool is negligible the so tool wear is not a problem here and there is no formation of burrs on the surface of the workpiece that is being machined and generally there is no residual stresses which are left on the surfaces after machining so what happens here uh, generally uh, we come across certain materials which are the harder materials and they are difficult uh, to get machined with the help of the conventional machining processes so researchers have developed these advanced manufacturing processes or advanced manufacturing techniques in order to machine majorly those materials 
and in uh, the welding processes there are certain situations uh, in which you require uh, some material uh, which are uh, related to nuclear uh, aspects or nuclear related so in that situation we cannot uh, go for machining them with the help of conventional uh, conventional methods in that particular situation we have to go for the non conventional machining methods and in that uh, situation what we have uh, looked at so far that uh, there is no contact or minimal contact between the workpiece and the tool and uh, the tool material need not to be harder and almost any sort of materials can be machined with the help of this process. In the later part of the slides we would be looking at the classification of the advanced manufacturing processes. So what happens here I have told you that uh, we are incorporating certain amount of energies and that energy uh, can be used to remove the material from the surface. So those energies can be thermal energy or it can be chemical energy or it can be the electrochemical energy or the combination of these energies. For the sake of uh, uh, having the terminologies we have certain processes which is electrochemical machining uh, which uses electrochemical energies in order to machine the uh, materials um, so far. So, so far what we have learnt here, we have learnt the concept of advanced manufacturing processes. So, this comes to the end of the first part of the video in which uh, we have learnt about the non-conventional machining processes in which we have seen the basic definition of the non-conventional machining process, the classification of uh, the non-conventional machining processes and we have seen the need of the non-conventional machining processes. In the next part of the video we will be learning at the concepts and I will be answering the question that I have raised in the initial part of the lecture in the second part of the video. For detailed conceptual clarity please refer to the book by S. Chan Publishing. The link of the book is there in the description box below. If you find the video interesting like share subscribe the channel and hit the bell icon for future updates. Thank you. All rights reserved. This video has been prepared for educational purposes only. No part of it may be reproduced or copied without the permission of the copyright holder.